Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you here. And today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be recreating fall and winter Pinterest looks. I have not been feeling the most creative with my outfit lately. I do not know what to wear. And Pinterest, of course, is the mecca to go to when you don't know what to wear, at least in my world. So I thought I should do a video for you to maybe inspire you to see these different kinds of looks and uh, to encourage you to go to Pinterest as well, to browse, to create uh, a lot of different boards. I think it is such a fun platform and you can definitely get a lot of use out of it. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would be so excited to have you in my little corner of the internet. And if you like this video, if you like any of the other videos that I do, I would highly, highly appreciate it. And just as a little sneak peek, I am going to be doing Vlogmas in December this year, so just in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned because there will be a lot of videos coming out. But now I think without further ado, let's go and get started with the video because I'm very excited to see how these outfits turned out. All right, so here is the outfit number one that I decided to recreate. And I think this is the perfect fall and winter outfit. It is definitely very cute and I can imagine wearing it to so many different occasions. And if I may say so, as you can see from the picture, I think I made a pretty good job recreating this outfit. And of course, it's a little bit different. It's with my own twist, but I think there is nothing wrong with that. I have these long velvet boots on that are right over the knee and they are also very, very comfortable. And of course, I have the leather pants. I think mine are slightly shorter than hers, but I think it still gives the overall vibe really, really nicely. And a stripy sweater as well. I love the combination. I love a good black and white outfit. And I topped it off with this black bag from Michael Kors. It's very simple, but it also like is very practical and again, fits with the wife perfectly. She didn't really have a lot of accessories or anything like that. So I kept it pretty minimal. And I think this is a perfect like weekend look if you're meeting out with friends. I give this look a 10 out of 10. I would totally wear it. And I think any one of you at home can recreate this because all of these pieces are pretty basic. So I'm very, very happy with this option and let's move on to the outfit number two. Hey there, sorry to interrupt, but before we go on to the next outfit, let's hear from the sponsor of today's video. Well, let's talk about one of the biggest problems we all face when shopping for shoes, finding something that's not just cute, but also comfortable. And again, especially if you deal with bunions like me or you have just wider feet, it can be a real struggle to find shoes that don't pinch or rub in all the wrong places. But these shoes are are different. They're made with this amazing stretchy fabric that adapts to your foot shape so you don't have to squeeze or painfully pressure any of your sensitive spots. And honestly, it's such a relief to find something that finally works for my feet. The first thing I notice is the stretchy, breathable fabric, especially around the toe box. It's wide enough to give your toes space to move freely, which is key if you have sensitive feet. And while they're super practical for foot health, they're also really stylish, as you can see here. Whether I'm wearing jeans, a dress, or a business casual outfit, Vivaya shoes really fit in all of my everyday needs. They're perfect for when I want to look put together, but don't want to compromise on comfort. Plus they come in a range of gorgeous designs and colors. So there's really something for everyone. One of the things that makes these shoes so practical, especially for my life here in Germany, is that they are water repellent. I can't tell you how many times I've been caught in the rain, but with Vivaya shoes, I never have to worry about wet feet or ruined shoes. And for those days when they do get dirty, because let's face it, rain and mud does happen, they're completely completely machine washable. You just pop them in the wash and they come out looking as good as new. I've been wearing Vivaya shoes for weeks now and I have to say they've become a staple in my wardrobe. Whether I'm out running errands, heading to work or just taking a walk, these shoes give me all day comfort and confidence. So if you're looking for shoes that combine comfort style and practicality, especially if you deal with bunions or live somewhere rainy like me, I highly recommend checking out Vivaya. These shoes have really changed the game for me and I'm sure you'll love them too. 
Click the link below to shop your own pair and see why they're the perfect everyday shoe. Trust me, your feet will thank you. All right, this is my outfit number two and it has definitely a totally different vibe from the previous one. And I realized that it is not as actual recreation as the previous one, but I still think I am more or less close. I just didn't have any uh, more similar items. But of course, the showstopper of this outfit are these glitter flowy pants that I have to say I absolutely love. I've had them already for a couple of years, but if I'm honest with you, I haven't worn them that often because they are just such a loud piece and I guess I do not go to enough parties where this look would be acceptable. And that's why I scoured Pinterest for a more casual way to wear them because the way I have styled them before was definitely very formal and kind of, yeah, party-like. So I wanted to dress this down and as you can see in the picture, she has a long oversized black t-shirt. Unfortunately, I don't have any t-shirts that are so oversized, but I do have this one and I guess I always have the need to do a millennial tuck because I just feel like it's a bit more flattering on my body type. But what I do like about this t-shirt is that it also actually has some small glitter elements here and it has kind of like this cool patchwork. So I think it fits with these pants super nicely and uh, yeah, it definitely dresses it down. And honestly, if they weren't so loud and glittery, like this is a super comfortable outfit. I feel like I'm wearing just sweatpants. Nothing is too tight on me. I'm absolutely loving it. And I definitely think I should consider wearing this to the next gathering. Since it is the winter time, I didn't go with the open toe shoes and I honestly just put my Ugg boots. And in the picture, she is wearing a silver glittery kind of bag. I do not have a silver bag, but I have this black bag that also has the silver element. And I think it also looks pretty good together. It kind of ties it all up pretty well. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure of this outfit, if I'm gonna be honest. I love all of these pieces individually. I do think that it's a nice, casual, comfortable outfit, but I still have to think if I would actually wear it um, out and about, at least in Germany. So I think I would give it like a seven or eight out of 10, but I'm getting there. I'm still gonna try to style these pants maybe in other versions. Definitely let me know what do you think. And now let's move on. Okay, so for my outfit number three, I chose this gorgeous combination. And I actually wore this outfit pretty recently to work and I felt super comfortable and I also got quite a lot of compliments and I felt very put together. So I think once again, this is an outfit that just works for so many different occasions. And if I may say so about myself, I think I recreated this one perfectly from the pictures. Of course, I was lucky enough to have all of the pieces here at home. So of course, I'm wearing this black silk skirt and I love this skirt. I have worn it so much in summer, winter, spring, autumn time. I think it is just such a perfect transitional piece. But since it is colder, I of course paired it with this white turtleneck. I think it is very cute. I also love how it has kind of these uh, knitted elements over here. I just cropped it a little bit uh, to make the proportions of my body slightly better. And I have this glittery belt that I think is very nice. It has like a velvet kind of material. And I think it just makes it a little bit more festive, a bit more put together. I'm wearing the same boots as in the first outfit that just kind of flow and elongate my legs, I think, and it all kind of seems together really nicely. And I also have a different black bag this time. It has this kind of leather effect and some golden chains, which always fits with my jewelry because I always wear golden jewelry. And again, this is an outfit, like I said, I can imagine wearing to work, to meet with friends, to go even to some a bit nicer dinners, events, etc. So I think it is very versatile and I will definitely be re-wearing it to a lot of different occasions throughout the winter. I will definitely give it a 10 out of 10. Once again, let me know what do you think and let's move on to the outfit number four. Alrighty, this is the outfit number four and it is definitely very, very different from what I usually wear. And honestly, I don't think I would have paired or put this outfit together myself but it really intrigued me when I saw it on my Pinterest and it had a lot of elements that I liked. So I decided to try it out and I have to say, I'm already very happy with the results. 
I have had this vest for a couple of months now. This was something that I bought this summer and I loved wearing this vest in the summer, but obviously once we tr transitioned into colder weather, I really wasn't sure how to wear it. And I thought that this was a very nice way to still be able to wear this vest and also give a pretty basic outfit, a little bit of a twist, a little bit of an elevation. So I paired it with this yeah, white shirt as she has on the picture as well. And I think it looks really good. I was a little bit on the border of whether it looks like a waiter or not, but I don't think so. I think it looks good. She's wearing some light uh, jeans and I'm wearing these ones as well. And her bag is kind of this burgundy color. Hers is definitely smaller than mine, but I still think that this is a pretty cool recreation. And since we don't see on the picture what she's wearing, what shoes she's wearing, I decided to put my twist to it and I wore these brown cowboy boots, which are a very recent addition to my wardrobe. And I think it just makes this outfit a little bit edgier, a little bit cooler. I think the vest already has a little bit of the cowboy vibes with, yeah, paired it with this white shirt. So I just went all in and yes, my bag and my shoes are not matching, but I think they're kind of in a similar palette. And uh, I think this is like a very cool, very comfortable outfit. I definitely feel stylish in it and I'm absolute fan. So it's another 10 out of 10. I'm very happy with how this video is progressing and I'm definitely finding some outfit combinations that I didn't think about before. And I think that's the point of Pinterest and why I love this platform so much. So as always, let me know what do you think? This is another one that I will be wearing a lot in my daily life now. And let's go to the last outfit, to the outfit number five. And here is the outfit number five. I think it is so cool. And again, this is like totally out of my comfort zone, out of my just general idea of how to put outfits together. And I know that my outfit is a little bit different from what you see on the picture, but still uh, the picture totally inspired this. And I had this kind of corset that I think is obviously the showstopper of this whole outfit. I love that it has this kind of like pleated material. It gives me a nice shape and I just think it looks super cool and different. And as you can see, of course, I paired it underneath the shirt like the girl on Pinterest did as well. And I love that this shirt is a little bit bigger, a little bit oversized. So it uh, yeah, looks just really cool and I love this combination. And I think it is kind of cool for the office as well. And uh, at the same time, depending on how you put it, uh, it can fit to again to a lot of different occasions. Since we don't really see the pants or the lower part, I think she's wearing something black. I decided to go with this black leather leggings that are very comfortable and they're also thermal. So it's perfect for the winter and as well, high boots again, just to elongate my legs and kind of make the lower part neutral because I think the upper part is just yeah, very cool and different. And I'm wearing the same bag that I did in another outfit because I think again, it just ties it all pretty nicely together. I think this is another really cool outfit. If it wasn't for Pinterest, I definitely wouldn't think to wear it together. But again, this will be in my rotation. So I hope that this is also inspiring for you. I give it a 10 out of 10. And now let's go to my closing thoughts. So as you can see, I'm still wearing the outfit. I just really love it and I didn't want to take it off. I think this video was a big success. I definitely got out of my comfort zone. I tried a lot of different outfits that I would normally not wear and wouldn't think to pair them together. And I think all five outfits also fit really good for fall and winter, no matter in what country you live in. I think you can definitely make it warmer if you need, but also you can wear them just as it is if you don't live in a very cold climate. Once again, let me know what do you think of this video and uh, thanks a lot for reaching the end. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you again in another video next week.